Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another collection video as a season preview. Today it is all German jerseys and in fact you will see all of my German jerseys because there's only one team where I have more than one, which is Köln, where I have two, so I'm wearing the away jersey, 13-14 season, something like that. And we're gonna look at all my German shirts, although there's one team unfortunately in the second Bundesliga, which in many ways has <laughs> is quite, um, how to say, attractive this season. Unfortunately, also featuring two of my all-time favorites with Bremen and Schalke. And we will start with Bremen. This is how they came more or less out of the um, wardrobe, uh, or, you know, had it here on the rack hanging. And so at uh, this time, not alphabetically, but kind of how they finished last season, they started at the bottom. Bremen. When Bremen actually survived the season before I decided to get a Bremen shirt, I found this one used. It's a little bit faded. It's, I think, the 3, 4, 2, 3, somewhere there. Away jersey with a little bit of orange. I initially didn't like the orange accents, but I have to say for me, I know Bremen now plays in green jerseys. I like it with white and a little bit green accents, so I'm quite happy with that one. Also, it has a sash. The sponsor, yeah, doesn't really fit on there. Going from this, which in a way, despite Bremen me liking, is probably the worst of these jerseys that I'm showing you. I'm going to probably the best and one of the best club jerseys that I have. Actually, I have, have, have to say, my German collection has some really, 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 really nice shirts in there. And I'm talking, of course, the Carnival jersey from Köln from the 2021 season. I've made a video about this already. I told you how much I love this one. It is, is an amazing shirt. Uh, not only a special design, it also has so many ties alone to Carnival, but also for the city of Cologne. Uh, I got it with 27 Modest, who then got sold, <laughs> coincidentally. But he was still a player when they were wearing this one in a game that they lost to Union Berlin. This is an overall absolutely amazing shirt and I got it in full specification with all the patches, paid way too much for it, but however, it was absolutely worth it still. This is one of my proudest shirts that I got last year. Another, I all got them in 2020, uh, most of them I got in 2020, some of 2021. Another one that I got uh, 2020 is this amazing 97-98 Stuttgart shirt. Absolute Adidas uh, beauty. I also like that uh, this was the first time in a long time that they didn't have, have a sponsor that overlapped with the band. Now it's just uh, the black here with the Göttinger group, so these supposedly two Gs. Um, I really like, like I'm not so sure, I mean this season Stuttgart also has some black in it, I'm not so sure about the black color of, overall, but it's a really nice design and super, super ventilated. Uh, <laughs> this is basically see-through material uh, right here, uh, those stripes. Really nice shirt, absolutely happy to have that one. Uh, this was the time when Stuttgart was a really, really good team, really attractive team under Jogi Löw to watch. Same season, same supplier, slightly different layout is this Hertha shirt, which probably is the second best in here. Absolutely love it. The blue is maybe too uh, dark, but other, other than that, there's nothing bad I can say about this jer jersey. From the Continental sponsor to the hoops to uh, the, oh, yeah, I still have this logo, but uh, kind of the old style logo, where I can actually see the difference in the blues. This is absolutely amazing. Also, there's a really nice shadow pattern with the head, the flag, and the three stripes in there. There's so much like this is classic 90s beauty by Adidas. Remember when Adidas made great shirts? Yeah, this was the period. I absolutely love this shirt. Um, couldn't be prouder of it, to be honest. So, to have this one, this is definitely one of my favorites. Another one, this one I got recently. Um, and I mainly got it because I, I think it's not that I like Freiburg as a team all that much, although they are a, a, a team that I have sympathies for. But the city of Freiburg is one of my fav favorites uh, in all of Ger Germany. And then I got this, saw this away jersey. The home jersey is a little bit like the current Denmark home, but this away jersey with the quartered look in gray and black, I have to say is a really strong look. And me, despite me not liking uh, gray all that much here, it fits quite well. Also note that the 
bird in the crest is also all over on the pattern, which gives it a uh, kind of a little bit of a regal look. Then here, the Freiburg fans in the collar. Hummel, I have to say, is producing quality material. I also got this one with full sponsors left and right, uh, but empty name, names. It. Really nice shirt. Great, great shirt. Sponsor even here fits better than on the home jersey, I have to say as well, although I would have liked it to be a little bit more monochromatic uh, right here. Now, another team, and now we're going to the really nice teams uh, from last season, is this Frankfurt home jersey. This is the fan version that was cheaper. Um, and I actually like this one uh, because the back, I got it with silver because he had such an amazing season, uh, because the back actually is all black, it makes sense and the color looks normal and not like this weird uh, fold over on, 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 on the back. It's the exact same pattern that you have on the home shirt. Uh, it's a slightly, how, how to say, it's not the stadium uh, material, it's, it's a slightly lighter material. It's a little bit more like a running shirt in, in, in a way and the crest is just a st sticker, but quite kind of sort of have to say, this is over good quality. I again have to say it because when I made my jersey review, I couldn't uh, get the pattern. This is of course is from the uh, town hall, the Römer in Frankfurt, which made me like this even more. And I like my Frankfurt jerseys in red and black. So really, Wanted to get that one, and then uh, they had free print printing, so I chose silver. A. I still like him. I know he was a flop at Milan. I still like him a lot, and he was amazing last season. So I got it with full print. And I also, I have to have to say, in Germany, I always consider gag a in print because you get the team name on there, which is something I really like. So yeah, Eintracht Frankfurt, very happy having this one too. And now the former last coach Oliver Glasner went from Wolfsburg to Frankfurt. A uh, team where the Frankfurt coach went to is of course Gladbach and I have this 1819 Gladbach jersey which I got from classic football shirts, I want to say like 2019, something like that, uh, late 2020, 1920, somewhere there, don't, uh, don't, don't remember. Um, I miss the times when Gladbach had white with just a little bit uh, green and black. I really like this one. Not that I'm fond of this gap here. I think here, uh, out outlining all the way wool would have made this better. But other than that, such a classic Gladbach look. Just look at the sleeves. With the green, with the uh, little black stripe in there. This is just classic. Yes, the sponsor is atrocious, but at that point we were so used to have this sponsor already that it didn't matter all that much. And for Puma, you didn't have to get printing the way back then to get also the team's name, although I'd rather would have it up here like Bayern usually has it, but yeah. Okay, we have it on the tail, it's still fine. And you know, it's not only Gladbach, it's called Mönchengladbach, but writing that one, speaking is not that as much of a problem as writing it, so um, that's a little bit too much. I also like that they wrote here, Die Fallen, which means the falls, which is the nickname of, of the team. Great team, great team. Uh, historic team in, Ger in Germany. Uh, we stay with a little bit green and uh, you realize already uh, blue is maybe the one color that's a little bit missing in there except for Hertha and we have last season's Wolfsburg jersey. I again got this because uh, Oliver Glasner was, so do was doing so well with them and they made it all the way to the champ champ Champions League and I want to get the black away jersey but that was a near impossibility to get because it was sold out so quickly and when I could get it, uh, I wanted to wait a little bit more because shipping was so much and then, yeah, they didn't have it anymore, so I got the home shirt with free shipping from Austria. It's, the design is a little bit out there. There is the coat of arms of Wolfsburg in there. They have the classic X design now that Wolfsburg has taken over. They sometimes feature it, sometimes not, but with an overall dot pattern, it's a it's... That shirt is really, really, really out there. I probably would have wanted to get Wout Weghorst, but since I didn't order it from the club store, I couldn't get it. I do not like these flashes here on the side. This should be one line. But other than that, uh, it's out there, it's loud, but it makes it, it, it gives a little bit accent on the wall. I also like that this is in blue and then all the other sponsors and um, the lettering were also in blue, which actually balanced out this total greenness of this shirt. 
So we're only left with two, and the two giants. Uh, I am working on a second Dortmund shirt in a way, as for a second Bayern shirt, but um, I have this one, this was I think from three, four, the home shirt. Not much to it, but honestly, this is the classic Dortmund look. A yellow shirt with a black collar and black sleeve cuffs. That's why I love this one. It's also self-produced by Goal.de. Uh, back then it has this weird figure on the sleeve, but uh, it's fine. I also got it with the Bundesliga patch, so that is nice. I never understood why Dortmund needs to have a sponsor in pink or red or whatever, when black would just about do. And as with the Gladbach shirt, it says Dortmund, but it's kind of on the tail. There's not much more to this one, uh, but it's a nice shirt to wear. I have to have, 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 have seen this logo here. It's a plastic logo, there's a, a slight 3D feel to it, so also nice. As I said, uh, the letters are coming slightly off of this one. That's maybe not speaking for its uh, endurance, but you know, I'm not wearing it all that often. And as I said, I'm working on a second Dortmund shirt, but you know, might be next season or whatever. And that leaves us with the big, bad German giants from Bayern Munich. I have the 1516 home shirt, the all red one, which is also coincidental because this season they also have kind of these uh, two red tones. Uh, not my favorite Bayern shirt, but that's the one I could get for relatively, relatively cheap because I got it with David Alaba and I think this was only 15 euros uh, the guy sold me and also with the patch here for the championship. So I thought uh, that's an overall pretty oh, it's overall pretty good deal. Now there have been some Bayern shirts that I really have been liking, namely the third shirt from last season and also the current home shirt. And I think the, the rumor third shirt, I have not seen it in real, also doesn't look that bad. So. That might add my collection as a second Bayern jersey. There have been a few in the late 90s, especially with white and red that, that I like. So I know I will need some time a second Bayern shirt, although you know, Bayern is one of those teams that I love to hate. So or hate to love. No, love to hate. Hate to love would, act, would actually imply more sympathy. So yeah. But yeah, you needed a Bayern shirt. Um, it is from this 1516 template of Adidas that is not, the, it's actually probably my last uh, really great Adidas template, I have to say. Uh, although it's a little bit quirky and there are the lozenges on the bottom, which come from the flag of Bavaria, of course, and it says here FCB. I think a shirt for a Bayern shirt is actually decent. Of course, a little bit more white would do. And Bayern, of course, they have always Bayern Munich on the top. All the other teams are on the bottom. I'm not sure if they changed it or not. They, they changed the font, but I have, to, I have to say they kept this font for 10 years. It was quite, kind of an elegant one. So yeah, these are all my German shirts that I have, including this current away jersey, which is very similar to the one that they will be wearing this season. In any case, let me know which ones you liked in here. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.